this is very powerful that you wake up in the morning and you decree this is the day that the lord has made i rejoice and i am glad in it i prophesy and i declare that gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising and you walk through that day as if creation owes you and you begin to see all kinds of miracles and all kinds of doors open for you and this brings that that the joy that comes from knowing that your life is producing and commanding results will bring a consolation to your christian experience listen to me do not be silent learn to create possibilities are we together every day is at the mercy of your speaking instruct it to become for you what the word of god says should be the third assignment of prayer you must learn to legislate we have i'm sure in this church and probably following we have members of parliament in this nation house of assembly senate and did you know all that they do is to use words develop and enact policies and these policies directly affect people passes through first reading second reading and all of that they adopt it it becomes law speaking they are paid to speak they speak from their minds from their thinkings from their perspectives if you keep quiet over your destiny is what you do not want that will happen i assure you whether you plant or not something will always grow in the farm provided there is rain and unfortunately it's what you do not want that will grow are we together speak over your business speak over your ministry speak over your family your assignment is to keep speaking in the name of jesus christ i will not give birth for sorrow in the name of jesus my mind is fruitful the favor of the lord is upon me in the name of jesus i am escaped from these six things even the scourging tongues of men you are praying and you are making decrees you forget about what who is thinking or not thinking your assignment your destiny is absolutely dependent on the power of creation things only happen to you if you are silent negative things i mean number four are you ready for this the fourth assignment of prayer is as a tool for warfare and intercession warfare and intercession apostle is this necessary hmm. live long that's my answer i don't have much to tell you please make sure you are alive for long and you will revisit this message again and again and again john 10 10 the thief cometh not satan is called the thief i don't know how many of you want to be friends with thieves the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy this is his tripartite character of destruction to steal to kill and to destroy first john chapter 5 and verse 19 we're wrapping up now first john 5 19 someone's destiny is changing this morning in the name of jesus first john 5 19 and we know that we are of god it says please help me read the remaining part and the whole world stop does that include the region of your office does that include where your church is does that include your village does that include nigeria does that include the space of the land you just bought the whole world lieth in wickedness when speaking with my people i would always make this observation nigerians know how to lament emotionally and we say who did i offend very comforting statement but how erroneous you do not have to offend anyone everyone is born in the middle of an old story that you are forced to be part of the story of the issue between light and darkness is not something that started with us everyone was born in the middle of an old and ancient story 
and can i tell you that story is so constructed that the moment you appear in it you must act in that scene nobody invites you to be part of that movie provided you are born you pass through the womb of a woman you must be part of it satan knows that everyone born of a woman is a potential tool in the hand of god number one he does not even give you a chance to grow if he can kill you he will with joy i guarantee you satan does not have to wait for you to be born again to be trained and mentored uh -uh. in the bible children were killed he killed them without thinking twice and then you now come to stand before god's people and surrender your heart to jesus christ i hope you know that when you were giving your life to christ it was not the preacher who led you that was seeing you alone the realm of the spirit including the demons principalities and like i would tell my people most believers do not understand the power of the life they just received but satan and demons understand what you received they know the potential of this life you have received and they know that by your declaration you have drawn a line i think it was on sunday i was talking to my people and i was helping them to see and appreciate the extent of the rebellion and the stubbornness of satan that for millions millions of years at least as we know maybe more from the time he was casted from heaven satan is still fighting god till today what determination that he will not give up satan comes to you and talks to you about god as if he does not you can imagine as if he does not factor his defeat in the discussion satan never talks to you as if he's defeated I hope you will laugh let me tell you what i'm about to tell you someone came and met me i think i was praying for people after service one time and a young boy came just stood before me and i saw something that looked like the poster of an election and i looked at him and he came with conviction and i opened it and i wanted to run away he was coming out for president of nigeria having shouted and thought that all things were possible i looked at this my dear brother and i didn't know how how what what angle do i become diplomatic do i go directly i looked at this boy and you will know you will see the gaps in knowledge the decades of learning this guy would need to ah. yes president i don't know what party i'm not sure there was a party yet in all fairness in all fairness i'm not if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking he stood at the line for prayer said he came to receive it i i told him i said look um my my dear brother let me tell you this um god works in seasons number one and life is in levels the gentleman did not agree you see that And I told him, I said, do you know what it means to be the president of any nation? And then the president of Nigeria. He was absolutely convinced. Absolutely. It would have been better if he said maybe he had a dream or prophecy. He just came and just believed that he wants to change Nigeria. He's never been class rep. He's never been um, maybe... Uh, uh, not even counselor leader of some whatever it is you think god hates us that much as a nation i know we've seen against god as a nation but oh, come on please there's still a remnant that this gentleman was almost making trouble i just said kneel down just laid hands on him and said please just just carry your trouble and go i'm not ready <laughs> So imagine, do you know, with that kind of determination, there is nothing you would tell that guy. That's the kind of determination Satan has over your destiny. That as unwise 
as it looks satan still believes in his agenda that's what that's the point i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to pass across you would think satan should be so afraid because of your last testimony and not come again satan you watch him the bible said he left jesus for a season you testified as a triumph of light over darkness if i were satan i would give up the way the miracle happened he stopped the first child and you gave birth to twins and you think satan will fold his arms he will rest and come back again this is the kind of adversary we have if you do not know who satan is and his level of determination you will take him for granted to your peril i'm showing you the necessity for the warfare and the intercessory dimension of prayer satan will kill anything he finds to kill you know satan does not have an agenda of himself he studies what god wants and creates an agenda out of it it's not like he has a preset no 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 he looks at your life he does not have any personal bias towards you he just wants to know what god is doing and he hears that god wants to lift you that in this year god is taking roger to another dimension he says fine now we have an assignment his assignment is a subset of whatever god is saying anytime god is speaking don't you ever think you are the only one hearing satan is a very intelligent listener when he came to adam he said what did god say i don't tell me what i just want to know what god said because my assignment is tied to what he said are we learning so the moment he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy god had spoken to you i'm lifting you this year and i'm bringing honor and glory to your life don't just say amen and stop you must engage you go to the place of prayer and ward off all of those things first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 have a few more minutes first peter 5 and verse 8 let me show you a very powerful scripture it says be sober first peter 5 and verse 8 be sober it says be vigilant what does it mean to be vigilant to be vigilant means to be sensitive to not be careless to be discerning he says because your adversary not your boss not the one fighting you those are puppets the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour jesus gave us power and authority over satan there are families who continue to watch the devil wreck them and shred them into pieces and they keep getting depressed there are lives you think the devil wants you to continually be anointed in ever increasing dimensions he's seen the havoc that the anointing in your life has done so far to the kingdom of darkness will he grant you access to intelligence and systems and structures that can multiply the anointing he will fight it tooth and nail satan knows what you did with the last 10 million god gave you he knows how the house of god benefited you think he will sit down and just allow doors to be open anyhow you don't know satan he's every other thing but lazy and foolish two things you cannot credit to satan he's not lazy and he's not foolish apostle why is it that other people who are not christians they don't even pray and they move forward there is nothing that is pro kingdom in their agenda so satan has no concern about fighting them satan attacks but in truth he has a protocol listen many of you watch football if you are playing say a semi-final or a finals and you are supposed to weaken that team your your target will be the the strongest of the, the key players they call them is that true if you can bring one or two out i think you've done a good job as far as making a contribution to the defeat of that team that's what satan is doing so the fact that satan is not letting you rest should tell you the role you play in god's agenda 
why is it that out of 10 people in your family he seems to have isolated you i tell you why because in his mind you are equal to the strength of the 10 people rather than seeking to destroy the 10 people one by one why is satan focusing on your church why is satan focusing on you as a man of god you are worth to him in his thinking you are worth to him more than five thousand preachers fighting you is most profitable to him than fighting is a way of conserving energy when he comes to you it should be a consolation that you are really valuable in god's agenda is god speaking now satan leave my family alone that's not it he's found out that there is something in that family you are not aware of that is pro kingdom satan why are you fighting my marriage why are you fighting my fruitfulness why are you fighting this satan does not fight anything for itself he looks beyond that thing and sees what it will achieve so hannah if samuel is coming out of you get ready to be barren it's not about your womb it's about samuel who else will anoint saul who else will anoint david elizabeth if john is coming out of you who will ordain jesus who will save the world you are on my list joseph if your rising will bring preservation to god's people so that they become god's covenant people the people from whom the messiah will come then get ready for trouble can i tell you this this is an information i'm giving you as we prepare to pray i can tell you this by revelation and i can tell you this from scripture satan attacks but he does not attack anyhow he attacks based on on how much point that attack will score as far as his advancement is concerned so he can isolate preachers he can isolate businessmen if you plan to be serious with god listen to this message if you don't plan to be serious with god that's all right but if you plan to be serious with god i want you to know that not everybody is willing to be serious with god the moment you declare to be serious with god you have drawn the line with satan will he come yes uninvited yes he's called a thief are thieves invited all you need to do is to be successful build a house your success and your results is the invitation but we have a god in heaven now thanks be to god who causes us how long always now thanks be to god preacher now thanks be to god businessman now thanks be to god that in spite of the schemings of darkness there is already a way of escape someone should rejoice that there is a way of escape a way of escape in prayer i can engage by the power of prayer and subdue everything that looks like a manifestation of darkness this morning we are going to take five minutes to engage i know that we have spoken about these four points but i am concerned about the fourth because this is where many of us are in and in the next five minutes i like us to take some time to pray can i tell you there are certain gates you need to bring down this morning you need to tell yourself enough is enough the bible says i daniel understood by books he knew when his season had come to an end when seasons come to 